Hey friends, this is up, right? Nick Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 17 on Farmtown USA. Oh, hang on. Scrap that. Hey friends, this is up, right? Nick Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 17 on Farmtown USA version 2, my edit of it. So, we are standing here in this old farm that we've been in <laughs> negotiation with, and um... Well, I'm proud to say that this is now our farm. We paid a hefty $350,000 for this, which honestly is not that much. <laughs> Luckily, the guy was just wanting to get rid of it. He didn't really care what was on it. He did. He even admitted he didn't really know what well, what was on it, other than uh, a few, a house, a few sheds, and a stable. Um, as far as the land, he didn't really value the land that much. He just uh, based the value off of the buildings that he knew was on here. Or that he knew were on the land. But uh, I guess he forgot about the mansion. <laughs> so, that works out for us pretty good. So, uh, yeah, this is our land now. Well, I shouldn't say our land. Ooh, excuse me burping because Dr. Pepper but uh, yeah I shouldn't say our land because we are actually gonna go head over to the uh, wait did I say 350,000 I mean 450,000 sorry about that it just clicked in my head that I said that <laughs> anyways we are gonna head over to the horse farm or the the new horse people in town and we're gonna talk to them and we may not be in full ownership of this farm much longer. So we're going to go ahead over there and uh, see you guys when we get there. Alright guys, so we just got done talking with the, uh, the lovely people here. Who we've been selling our bales to. And who have been trying to get up and or get up going with their own little horse farm. And uh... They were quite happy when I pulled up with the news that I have acquired some land with the horse stable on it. It's quite a fair bit of land and that it's all theirs for $100,000. It is very cheap, but these guys have been super nice to us. They have been paying us a premium for our hay and our straw. And uh, they will continue to do so. And they are going to let us uh, farm the le two fields that are there. and. They may be in contact with us if they ever need some land cleared out. So with all that business stuff being done, we are going to head out into, or head out to our farm and uh, do what we need to do there. Because we got hay to mow, we got, oh, that, it's the stop sign I just ran. We got crops to bring in, we got a lot of crops to bring in. And uh, all that hay that's going to be mowed is, is going to have to be brought in. It's pretty busy here on the farm today. I mean, we've been negotiating for quite a while. I mean, as you can see up there, we have a text that uh, the combine is pretty much full. Uh, we started harvesting last night and just let it sit over uh, night till it dr dried up. So while it was drying out, we were doing all the no negotiations. I'll we'll actually go ahead and pull into the field here. We got our first wheat field all opened up. We just have to finish making the second round. It's even pretty damn good actually. Quite happy with it. I am kind of sad to announce that we did sell the Case IH 1480 combine. So we do not have a second combine running. Although we do have that Titan that we just uh, got with the farm there. We would have to get another header for it. It could be, it could be worth it. I mean, I don't even know if that thing runs. But anyways, I'm gonna get everything set up, and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of time lapse. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Actually, before the time lapse, I know I kind of surprised you guys with this. Uh, if you guys didn't see the video yesterday, we did 
or I did do some changes to the map. As you guys know, I'm getting this ready to uh, be released for all of you guys out there. Oh, it's not going to let us do this. Oh, come on. Let me have it. It just has to pop that wheel out of the floor and we're good. Okay, I think we'll be good. Anyways, like I said, I'm trying to get this map ready for you guys. And I still have some changes I want to make to it, which is, which include, we just gotta get this out of the barn, there we go, which include uh, changing some of the barns around on here for some uh, red and whites, uh, with the exception of that one there, this big one, because I like that one, that's a pretty good barn and I uh, can't really find a replacement for that one. <laughs> Anyways, um, the dairy farm, the main dairy barn here is pretty much going to be remain as is because I kind of like how old it is. But like the workshop back there, I changed out for a red and white. This I changed out for a red and white pole barn, kind of. Uh, I changed around the silo system. This is actually completely based off of a silo system uh, back where I used to live, back at my old house. And uh, it's pretty accurate. It's not exact. I mean, there's only so much I could do. But as far as the basic layout of it, it's pretty much the same. Also added two silage bunks back there. Instead of the one huge one we had, I like the two different ones now. Because now, even though it doesn't matter in farm sim, but now we have one for haylage and now and one for uh, silage, uh, corn silage. In real life, you would keep those separate. In, in farm sim, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now for real this time, sit back, relax, and enjoy the time.
Alright guys, well, I hope both of you guys have enjoyed that time lapse. Um, <laughs> that was one field down, we have plenty more to go. Now we'll take a look at our field map here in a second. Pull up to the truck and just unload directly. If we fill up the truck before we're empty, as I say that we uh, fill up the truck, that's all good because A, we have our green cart here, and B, the next field is literally right there. So, I'm not going to put you guys through any more trouble of uh, watching this. I'm going to do a lot of this off camera, by the way. Because if we look, we have this wheat field, this wheat field, these wheat fields. This wheat field. <laughs> There's a lot of wheat fields. Then, uh, next episode, we will start our barley. We'll probably do one or two fields of barley on camera. Then, we have to start our canola. Oh, we also have this wheat field. Our canola is 54, 28, 20 is our previous um, sunflower field, which previous to that was hay. We also have canola over here, which was also a previous um, sunflower field. So yeah, we have quite a bit of harvesting to do. Like I said, most of it will be done off camera for you guys to save you guys the, uh, the boredom. And uh, for sake of not being repetitive in the videos, a lot of it will be off camera. Anyways guys, I do want to say if you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys did, by the way. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, dislike, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, please click, click the bell icon so you're notified of when I upload and or stream. And until next time, I'm going to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.